And Joe Biden is in office because he's not Trump. That's the only reason he's there. Who's your ideal candidate for president? Wow, me. I don't, you know, let me think. <laughs> you know, it could humble. be. A, Handsome and humble. <laughs> hey, it could be a mixture of sorts. Um, like, I actually did work uh, in volunteer with the Cory Booker campaign back in 2016. I did work a little bit on that. I mean, hell, I even volunteered for the Clinton campaign. But uh, with Hillary Clinton, I think she would have been a decent politician without all of the the the, or, the orbiting corruption from things of the past and things like that hovering around her. But she was a tough individual. And certainly when it comes to uh, foreign affairs, I, I think she would be the one to get the call at 3 a.m. She's a female, but she's a tough cookie. So something like that, but you, without all the controversy orbiting around her. So someone like Hillary Clinton? Without all of the controversy without orbiting around her, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of that one congresswoman from Hawaii, um, Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi what? Gabbard. <laughs> I no. call her the she's she is like the Liz Cheney of the left. She is yeah. a woman without a party, meaning that the party she is known for affiliating with does not like her, and the party she is trying to affiliate with would never elect her. So she is a, a like they say, a man without a man without an island or something like that. She's very similar to that. I know a lot of conservatives who would vote for Tulsi. You don't? Do you know any Democrats who would vote for her? That would vote for Tulsi Gabbard? Now, no. She said nothing but negative stuff about the about the Democrats. There's no I mean, She's essentially traded on our own party. That's why I compared her to Liz Cheney because Liz Cheney has went out and campaigned for liberals. You know, if she was running on a very low level, yeah, there are some conservatives I could see that might vote for her, but we have to see what all of the things she has stood by in the past. I mean, she's been a Democrat for all these years. How much stuff, if she runs against another conservative politician, how much of her past would be ran against her in the campaign ads? Um, no, I agree, but I think a lot of what would be ran against her wouldn't necessarily harm her. So, for instance, my mom and my aunt are very conservative, but both pro-choice. And so they really like Tulsi because she's pretty conservative, but some liberal issues that many women identify with, um, she identifies with. Yeah, I, it's a possibility she could win some down ballot stuff. I don't know if even for Congress, I don't know if she could. If she could be, because she got to be, she has to, to win the primary. So that means she'd have to originally run against another Republican re representative. And whoever her Republican competition is would be able to say, hell, I've been with the party since day one. You're voting someone who just is coming in right now. So if she could beat the Republican in the primary, then yeah, someone like your parents or other folks who lean right might then put her in there. But She'd have to beat her competition in the primary, and she's pretty new to the game right now. 